another coffee cup video because I have got something I've got to share with y'all. Now, I know you saw my new set in one of my short videos. I'm making these just for me, and aren't they the cutest? I'm going to leave a link down below so you can get some too. I'll be selling these later at craft fairs, but for now, this set is all for me. In my last video, I showed you this whole set of glass paints that I got from Folk Art. We followed the directions just like the label said. We washed our cup down with rubbing alcohol and we began dotting. But y'all, there is so much more you need to know before painting these. Go over to plaidonline.com and check out their frequently asked questions. I learned that our painted mugs should not go in the microwave. And I learned that even though this paint is non-toxic, you shouldn't let it come in direct contact with your food. It is recommended to leave nearly a full inch at the top of our mugs. So let's put our mandalas a little lower so that our lips don't touch them. Besides, it's really weird to have that texture on the top of your cup. All right, I also learned that we do not need to thin this paint with anything and not to rinse our tools with water in between colors. So I'm gonna be using a paper towel today and wiping every one of my dotting tools clean with it. All right, with all that I just had to tell you, let's get started. I can't wait to show y'all what my new set of coffee mugs is gonna look like. I'm gonna start today with green and show you guys red and green since the holidays are coming. I think these would make awesome gifts, I really do. You could fill them with cocoa ingredients or fancy coffee or give them just like they are. I hope you guys like this. Without further ado, Let's get into it.
show you guys how easy was that. Okay, I'm going to let this sit overnight and dry for 24 hours. Then I'm going to stick it into a cold oven. I'm going to set the temperature for 350. When it hits 350, I'm going to set a 30-minute timer. When that timer goes off, I'm going to turn off the oven, and I'm not going to touch a thing. I'm not even going to open the door. I'm going to let the oven, the cup, everything cool down naturally. And when it's all finished and all cool, I'll show you guys what it looks like. To recap, here's all the supplies I used. I put a link to every one down in the description and I'll be adding these to my website very soon. Guys, I love this cup. I have already painted the red one, so I knew right away I was keeping these for myself. I will totally order some more coffee cups and make a bunch of these to start selling. But I think just for this winter, I'm going to cozy up to these two coffee cups and really enjoy it. I want to thank Catherine for joining our channel membership. You guys have no idea how much this actually helps keep my channel going. I want you guys to check out the perks, hit the join button, and see if that's something y'all can do. Don't forget to do all the youtube -y stuff like liking and subscribing and commenting and all the things that helps my channel grow. I really hope you guys like this. I hope you go paint yourself some Christmas mugs. It is so much fun. Anyway, I'm going to put a link to my last coffee cup video right here. I hope you guys go give it a watch. And until next time, rock on.